Boys and girls, please take out your math flip books and turn to lesson 1.6. We are looking at problem of the day. Antonio rounds a number to 320. Which of the following could be Antonio's number? And then explain how you got your answer. Below, on the bottom section of the flip book, you can draw a line in between essential question and problem of the day. I'd like you to show your work. And can someone raise your hand and tell me what do you think I mean by explain how you got your answer? What do you think I mean by that? Nola? Like tell the person what how they do it. Okay, that's excellent. It's a great definition. Tell or explain how you did it. Are you going to use words to explain or numbers? Words. Words. So solve the problem and then explain how you got your answer. You have five minutes to complete this. And the one's place was seven, so I rounded it up to ten. And then I looked, and then it would equal twenty. So that's how I got the answer. Very good. Thank you. Let's see. 349 is rounded to the nearest 10. It would be, it would round to 350. So 320 is rounded to the nearest 10. So 1, 2, 3, or 4, just ignore. 5, 6, 7, or 8, add one more. So let's take a look at the problem of the day. <clears throat> Who can raise their hand and explain their answer? There were some pretty good answers. You take the 320 and then you take the 20. And then you see if 325 is closer to, closer to 320 or is any other else closer to it. Okay, and what did you come up with? 317. Okay. Nice. One more? Grace? If it just zero, one, two, Three, four, you don't add one. If it's just five, six, seven, eight, nine, you add one. Um, if it's like in the like ten, like one's a number, um, you um, you look to see what what ten it's by, then. If you look very closely, it'll be close to a tw 20. So um, I thought 17 is, is one of the numbers that you add 1. So it goes to 20. Very good. That's a great way to look at it. If it's close to 20, like 17, then you would round it up to 20. Good job, guys. Thank you.